Final round highlights from Latino America Tours Ecuador Open. And after rain delays were going on after rounds two and three, everything got back on schedule and the weather held up for a beautiful Sunday round. That was Adam Long making a long birdie putt. Bear with me here. Coming off six straight pars, he would end up carding a one over Sunday. Five under, though, overall, so a solid week for Adam Long. Martin Trainer now sitting at five under to this point. This is his approach shot. Nice little wedge in to the seventh green, and he would go on to make that birdie coming off a bogey on six, so a great bounce back there, finishing with an even par final round, six under overall. Brian Bigley entered the weekend even par carded a moving day 68, trying to keep that momentum going as he spins that one back, leaving himself not an easy putt for birdie here to move to six under par. He had birdied six, he birdied seven, and make it three in a row with one on eight as well to finish at seven under for the tournament. Over to the 15th, it's Sebastian Vazquez at six under to this point. This is his second shot. He got off to a hot start with a five under round one, but then slowed down a bit after that. And on Sunday, it was more of the same as he leaves himself a nice look at birdie here from about eight feet out to move it to seven under par, but he finishes at seven under overall thanks to an even par round on Sunday. Mauricio Azcu began the day 12 under overall, had just three birdies on the card, and that's just not going to work when you also have three bogeys and a double, but a beautiful wedge there into the seventh green as he would tap that one in for birdie, finishing though at eight under, tied for second, but I'm sure that's a disappointing runner-up finish for Mauricio Azcu considering where he entered Sunday's round. Jose Toledo also finished in a tie for second, an impressive third round 66, lost a little bit momentum, but a solid two under day on Sunday to also finish as the runner up. Everybody though was trying to chase down this man, it just was not going to happen. Tyler McCumber, son of 10 time PGA Tour champion Mark McCumber, searching for his first professional victory. That would have been for Eagle, goes on to make the birdie to move to 11 under par. And then we'll head over to the 15, staying with McCumber, coming off birdie on 14. Found a little bit of trouble here on the 15. So this is his third shot on the par four, but nothing wrong with a tap in par, no damage done. So we will continue to move on. McCumber enters 18 with a five shot cushion. This for a long birdie opportunity to win by six. But who needs to win by six? Winning by five is just fine, I'm sure, with Tyler McCumber as he makes this par and claims his first professional victory by five shots on Latino America Tour. He is fourth on the order of merit, which means you will be seeing him on the Web.com Tour next season.